Hello everyone, this is Erhan Özdemir, your German teacher from Istanbul, Turkey. In this video, we are going to learn unregelmäßige Verben, which stands for irregular verbs. So let's get started. Here we have Essen. Essen is an irregular verb. Die Pizza, die Pizza, this, uh, yeah, as you see, Pizza. When I say, I eat pizza, I'll say, Ich esse Pizza. What do I do in the uh, conjugation? I drop the AN and instead I put E, right? So I'll say Ich esse die Pizza. But what happens when I say du? Here is what happens. E drops and instead E comes E. Then the conjugation here remains the same. It is conjugated as ST. Then I'll say du ist die Pizza. So E drops and there instead comes E and the conjugation is also uh, remains the same just like in the regular verbs. For those who didn't watch the regular uh, video, uh, I suggest them to watch the video so that they know the conjugation of the verbs. So here we have du ist die Pizza, you eat the pizza. So what happens for er, sie, es, for he, she, it? I'll say er ist die Pizza, here the same, e drops and there comes instead e and uh, I put t instead. But instead of writing three s's, I put uh, double s and it seems to be the same but Actually, it refers to the er, sie, es form. So I'll say er ist die Pizza or sie ist die Pizza or I can say es ist die Pizza to uh, who I refer. So when I say we eat the pizza, wir essen die Pizza, the verb remains the same. Just like in the regular form, ihr esst die Pizza, it remains the same. And for the formal way of saying you, I'll say sie essen die Pizza, but also for they eat the Pizza, I'll say sie essen die Pizza. Ich esse die Pizza. Ich esse die Pizza. Du isst die Pizza. Du isst die Pizza. Er isst die Pizza. Sie ist die Pizza. Es ist die Pizza. Wir essen die Pizza. Wir essen die Pizza. Ihr esst die Pizza. Ihr esst die Pizza. Sie essen die Pizza. Sie essen die Pizza. As you have noticed, du and the er sie es forms are conjugated in the irregular form. So be careful here in the second and in the third singular form. Here we have another verb, an irregular verb, which is lesen. This stands for to read, okay? When I uh, look at the sentence ich lese das Buch, you'll notice that lesen is just like a regular conjugation and this stands for Ich lese das Buch. I read the book. By the way, in German, when I say Ich lese das Buch, that stands for a continuous I always read the book or the now form, which is the present form. I am reading the book. Okay? So, uh, this stands for I am reading the book or you may say I read the book. Okay? So, Ich lese das Buch. I am reading the book. So, what happens if I mention du? E drops and instead comes e, e. Okay? Instead E comes e, e. And then I say you are reading the book, which stands for in German du liest das Buch. Du liest das Buch. What do I say for er, sie, es, easy? I'll say, er liest das Buch. Here, 
the A drops again and instead comes EA and then I'll say he is reading the book which is er liest das Buch or for a female I'll say sie liest das Buch or for das article which stands for is then I'll say es liest das Buch okay here as you noticed in all the irregular verbs this is very important the second and the third uh, singular forms there is the transform of ea okay uh, it could be ea and many other vocals as well okay but here we have to be careful and have the changings but here it remains the same just like in a regular form Let's continue with wir. Wir lesen das Buch. We are reading the book. Okay? Wir lesen das Buch. Lesen remains the same. Here we have ihr. Then I'll say ihr lest das Buch. Why? Because it's conjugated as st. And then I'll say ihr lest das Buch. What happens for the polite form of saying you? That this will be sie lesen das Buch or for they this will be then sie lesen das Buch as well. I want you to repeat after me please. Ich lese das Buch. Ich lese das Buch. Du liest das Buch. Du liest das Buch. Er liest das Buch. Sie liest das Buch. Es liest das Buch. Wir lesen das Buch. Wir lesen das Buch. Ihr lest das Buch. Ihr lest das Buch. Sie lesen das Buch. Sie lesen das Buch. Here we have another irregular verb which stands for to speak. To speak means sprechen. Sprechen. Okay, so when I conjugate sprechen with ich, I will say ich spreche Deutsch, e and drops, and instead comes e, ich spreche. Just like, it seems to be just like in English, right? Speak, spreche. Ich spreche Deutsch. What happens when I say du? Here we have to be careful. Why? Because du and as he is, there is a transform. So I will put instead of E, the E, right? Oops, the E. And then I will say Du sprichst, okay? You are speaking or you speak. It's the same, okay? Actually, uh, as I mentioned before, ING form or the general form of saying I speak or I am speaking will be then ich spreche but here as i say you are speaking german i will say du sprichst deutsch du sprichst deutsch so the e goes and there comes instead e what happens for er sie es same as in du form i will say er spricht deutsch he is speaking german but also he speaks german as well so, what do I say for sie? Same with er. This will be then sie spricht Deutsch. Sie spricht Deutsch. For es, es spricht Deutsch. Es spricht Deutsch. Okay, and as we have here, we have wir in the wir form. The verb remains the same. I just put it here and that's it. I'll say then, wir sprechen Deutsch. Wir sprechen Deutsch. We are speaking or we speak German. Mm -hmm. For the ihr form, ihr sprecht Deutsch, this stands for you. If there is a group of people and then I refer to them, I say you speak German or you are speaking German, that would be then what? Ihr sprecht Deutsch, okay? And here we have the polite way of saying you, which is sie. But here I want to uh, point at something. 
if this is written in a sentence and the z is in between the words then this is written with a capital okay so when i say you speak or you are speaking german i'll say sie sprechen deutsch or for the uh, plural form of saying sie this will be done again sie sprechen deutsch as well ich spreche deutsch ich spreche deutsch du sprichst deutsch du sprichst deutsch er spricht Deutsch. Sie spricht Deutsch. Es spricht Deutsch. Wir sprechen Deutsch. Wir sprechen Deutsch. Ihr sprecht Deutsch. Ihr sprecht Deutsch. Sie sprechen Deutsch. Sie sprechen Deutsch. In this video we have learned Unregelmäßige Verben, which stands for irregular verbs. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave comments, share with those who want to learn German and hit the bell button for further more videos, please. In this video, as we are in the ending, I want you to share to learn another Turkish phrase, which stands for what I'm going to say Good morning. This means in Turkish, Günaydın. Günaydın. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Tschüss.